your chain. What's up? <laughs> All right, guys. Another episode of the Chains Out Podcast. I'm your host, Brett Ernst, with my boy, Carlos Rodriguez. Uh, we got to get into it. Uh, dismal NFL <laughs> weekend for both of us. Uh, I mean, at least your team, you know, nobody's hyping up. We, we win two games, they crowning the Cowboys the champs, and then next thing you know, we get fucking uh, demolished in Arizona. It was awful to watch. I didn't get to watch it. I I, I, saw, I just saw the score, and I was like, what the fuck? No, he, God damn it. He's putting this fucking microphone in my mouth. It goes right here. I don't know what you go, go ahead, go ahead, go. So, uh, but the motherfucker... <laughs> So the uh, uh, I didn't get to see your game. I got to see the score. I was all like, whatever, uh, fucking pissed because uh, it was part of my parlay too, uh, another parlay. So I've been, I, I've not, I've not done well. I've not done well this season, dude. I've been wrong twice, I think. <laughs> and you know, whatever. We, you guys can check out our picks. We we do our picks every week. But um, and if you're a Cowboys fan, uh, go to the Jersey Boys podcast on the Chop Sports Network. Uh, we talked about this today about just what an awful performance by our defense, man. Our offense played okay, but our defense choked. Just let them up. It, it, uh, what? Because Diggs went out. You think they're all side? You think so? Um, they would have. Uh, yeah, I think rally. there was something psychological there. I mean, we lost Diggs. We had. I mean, we were without. I think three starters on the offensive line. We got decimated by injuries in drills. It wasn't even like real practice, you know. D Diggs blew his ACL on a, on a drill on grass. It wasn't like he can blame the turf. Mm. It's just one of those things that happened in the NFL, and uh, you know, whatever. Um, right now, the Dolphins look real. I mean, the Niners look real, even though we both hate to hate to say that. You know what? I was thinking about taking uh, the Broncos uh, over Chicago this uh, this this upcoming thing. It's, I, it's about three. You know, here's the thing, man. And, and we went over these picks. Mm -hmm. uh, there's some teams you just don't know who they are. Yeah. But and the Bear, or the Broncos. I mean, Jesus. I, I don't know what's gonna happen with that one. Um, I mean, seventy to nothing. And it's funny because it's like Sean Payton and then Russell Wilson, and, but it's and then they got Jerry Judy back. You think they were gonna do something, but they didn't do shit. It was I don't know what the hell was going on. Yeesh. John Campanera has you ever hear John Campanera's bit about that? No, I think they're like the biggest blowout. It might have been college football was like a hundred and twenty to nothing, and John Campanera's bit is great because he's like, you know, what's that halftime speech like? <laughs> <laughs> like? Hey guys, we're down seventy to nothing. Yeah, yeah, now <laughs> we can still win this. <laughs> And then uh, that blowout too over in uh, uh, Colorado State and in, uh, in Oregon. Did you watch that? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, listen, I love what Dion's doing, but mm. you know, you, you, that eventually was going to come to a head. I mean, because you know, talent-wise, he got some good talents through the through the portal. You know, because the way the NCAA is now, you can transfer this transfer portal. You got some great, great players. Um, you know, there's still a lot of talent on the team, but you know, Oregon just. Just, you know, put a pouncing on him, man. And but you know, now with Dion, as much as I love Dion, uh, you got a target on your back. Yeah. And all that hype going in there, I mean, you know Everybody wants a piece of that and wants to yeah. get, getting up for it. And it, Oregon's a you know, it's a great team, man. They're a good team. And then uh did you did you watch the Raider game? You didn't watch any of the Raider game no. on Sunday night. Yeah. Of course not. I watched it and I was like I was so depressed. <laughs> yeah, I was depressed. after mine I was depressed. Uh, uh it was I just didn't get that whole uh, mindset of like not going for the the fourth down and to get the to get the touchdown to try to get the two point conversion because they're eight points away and he kicks a field goal and it just see it we're the other way bad, bad oh yeah you guys are the other way yeah we we went for it we didn't get it we mm. needed if we would have hit the field goal we would have just needed one touchdown to score and win the game I, it, it goes either way man he just it, it just looked like bad coaching again it just looks like this guy doesn't know how to coach a, a, a football team at all and then. Chandler Jones is still going crazy and writing more notes. He wrote some more shit today, <laughs> <laughs> and it's it's bad, man. And then uh, so now Jimmy G got a, got a concussion, so now AOC might play. That kid Aiden O'Connell might play. I, I like that kid. Yeah, so he might play. But they're saying if if he doesn't play and they play Hoyer, then this then the the the, the, the tank's already happening three weeks in. De Devontae Adams pissed off. He don't he might want to trade in the next couple weeks or something, man. It's just not looking good at all. I'll tell you what I, I'm not happy about. And, uh, you know, I wish him all the luck in the world. But, God, now that Taylor Swift's dating Kelsey, it's like <laughs> it's all over the, the you know, all these girls now are yeah. involved. We're going to hear about that. I know what happened when Romo dated, uh, what's her name? Jessica Simpson. Yeah, it's yeah. like, you know, whenever that happens, it's it becomes now it's like we get out of the sports world and now we're going to see this shit on, like, you know, 
pop culture sites and shit. It'd be on the YouTube front page. Because uh, I don't know the YouTube, but the uh, Yahoo. I seen um, someone somewhere it said that his uh, jersey sales went up 400%. Really? Yeah, and they also said the lowest. The, uh, they even did like a um, uh, girls from fifteen to twenty three demographic all watched the Kansas City game, and, and it was that was the highest rating. Just to see Taylor Swift yes. in, in the box. In the box. That's got to be tough, though, man. What? Just to deal with that? Well, I mean, you date. I mean, I get that. You know, you're in this circle now, but like, you know, mm -hmm. it's. To date somebody that, you know, that like, how, how would you handle that? Like, if you had to see other guys that your girl used to date and be with, I don't know if I could handle that. <laughs> and, like, you go see a movie with her and she's like, yeah, like, and like the guy that she used to clip is in the movie. <laughs> yeah. I know you got to drive home in the car and act like it doesn't bother you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you see them have a sex scene too. <laughs> Caught a piece of the root too. You're like, what the fuck? This and you know that they with? were clipping? Yeah. I had a friend of mine. I'm not mentioning names and I'm not mentioning who the guy was, but he was dating this chick and she was with somebody that was pretty famous. And, you know, they're both kind of whatever, you know, known, but it was like one of those things. And then, you know, uh, when they first started seeing each other, it was like, you know, it didn't bother him. And then he's driving home on the 101 and there's a billboard with the guy on it. <laughs> Yeah, you know? and he had to get he had to look at that every time he went home. Oh, burn you, man! And then <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> it's driving me fucking nuts. So, and you're in traffic too, so you're just looking at him for a while. It yeah. ain't just like a passing by. That's L.A. traffic. Yeah, <laughs> he's just staring at him for 12 minutes, going two feet, and then you know you see him again on a billboard. You're like, motherfucker, mm. this guy clipped my girl. Yeah, and and it's a franchise, so you know that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in a year it's gonna be another another billboard i'm not even good with my girl clipping no name dudes <laughs> you know i don't i don't want to meet no name dudes yeah <laughs> let alone know who those are oh. but um yeah man it's uh now we're gonna have all that going on with the i'll tell you what i did see uh was stir of echoes on your request yes you didn't like it nah, you, come on man what, what you didn't like what do you didn't like about it the, the whole thing's predictable it's predictable. Well, I mean, the movie's older. It's not like it's brand new where it's like they're it's not like to it's from the a... 70s it was like 2000 something so it's predictable. Or okay. 99. So, uh, spoiler alert, if anybody if, if, if fucking don't, don't give a fuck. But, so wait, you didn't like it because it was predictable? Right out the gate. First of all, all right, let's see. they go to the house party, which I, I don't know where they live in Chicago, but it's like a college town. There's people everywhere at the house. I thought they went to a college party. Uh, uh, yeah, it's a college football game. They, they were no, 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 no. They, remember they put the kid to bed. They go across the street. It's like a fraternity party. These kids are just everywhere. And then they and, put, they put, I can't remember that. Yeah. And then like, it's like the whole block is outside hanging out. They're just like yeah. their little, their little group, their little like fucking their friend group. Uh, yeah. And then they go and what the, the, I thought they were going to a, no, that's when they get the kid to babysitter. They go to, a, they're going to a, a college football game. Right. Yeah. But then, you know, now, you know, I mean, I knew right away who did it and you know, it's cause it was so obvious the way they placed it. And then, Nah, it just, I don't know, man. You should, be, was, a, you should be a detective. Nah, it was just, <laughs> it was all right. Yeah, I like it, man. I like that, like the, uh, the feel like of the it. Like the way you guys were talking, I thought it was going to be like, you know. I like the whole, uh, the whole aspect of uh, opening the door in the brain and he's being, because they have yeah. like this shining type of thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, what movie do you like? Well, let me hear, let me hear one of your good flicks that you, that you really like. What do you mean? Horror? Anything, yeah. We already went over this. No, I mean, you can't, you can't do Rocky, man. You can't fucking can't do Rocky. Listen, that movie would have been better <laughs> if Kevin Bacon was Italian-American. <laughs> and he was training. <laughs> and he was training. And then <laughs> and, he started, and it was a mob hit. <laughs> no, I I, uh, I don't know. It, I mean, it was a good movie. It wasn't bad. But he, even my girl, we were watching it going, this is, eh. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, what you call it? What about that one when you were talking about that you wanted to speak about? Oh no, we were talking about the the comedies that were underrated. Okay. Uh, there was a couple that I I didn't I forgot to mention, and one is Night Patrol. And if you guys ever get a chance to find this movie, it was all the comedy store comedians from like the '80s made a movie, mm -hmm. and it was with the unknown comic. I don't know if it was late. It had to be like '79, '80 tops, and uh, Pat Morita's in it. Dice is in it. Dice is great in it because he's trying to get an agent. Now, um, it's, it's it's just he's hilarious. He just pops up everywhere. Yeah. Because like J.P. Morgan, um, who plays the agent, she was like a, a comedian from back in the 70s. Mm -hmm. 
uh, Dice is following her around. He's like, hey, come on. You know, you got to sign me. I do impressions. <laughs> then he's like, here's my impression of Ed Sullivan. We got a great fucking show for you tonight. <laughs> you know, it, but it's all like jokes and and it's just all comedy store comics just that tongue era. in cheek one of those yeah i mean I, I i would tell any comic especially ones that are in you know la yeah, or whatever to watch that to, yeah that are a store that's 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 old store history oh you told me to uh, write down day shift what the fuck was day shift no night shift oh night shift oh well it's night patrol i got night patrol and i got day shift no it's night shift okay. there's night patrol and night shift okay so night shift was with henry winkler and um michael keaton and they run a, a mortuary, mm -hmm. but then they become uh, pimps and they have a call girl service. And that's really funny. It's a great funny movie. Oh, it's a comedy too. Okay. And then uh, you took me to write down Prophecy. Oh, that's another movie that I like with... Um, Christopher Walken, no? Yeah. Where yeah. he plays like the archangel, I think it was Gabriel. And he comes down and there's a war going on and there's this general that died that they're fighting for their soul. Yeah, I think I remember seeing like there's like part two and a three, right? And like a, like they they made sequels to this thing, yeah. Uh, yeah, but the first one was the best one. You never seen it? No, no, I never. With seen Christopher it. Walken? Yeah, no, no. Oh, it's fucking great. I gotta check that out. I'll, I'll I'll look that up. And then Moving Violations is another movie. It was a comedy. So in the early '80s, when like HBO was just really taking off, mm -hmm. um, you would always see these movies. It was like Porky's and like those types of like yeah. raunchy comedies and stuff. Born in East LA. Yeah, that was a, that's a great one. <laughs> yeah. So 1985, this movie came out, and it was about people that go to traffic school. Okay. And you've heard of Bill Murray. Yeah. yeah. And you've heard of Brian Doyle Murray. This is their brother, John, <laughs> and he stars in this movie. <laughs> no, I never, I never <laughs> His name's it. John Murray. John Murray? No. And, you know, he was like in Scrooge. He had little parts, you know, but he's like the Murray brother that, okay. but, but he, carries, he carries the movie. And, uh, you yeah, know, it's called moving violations. It's called moving violations. The, um, uh, Scrooge is good too. You know what? Another Boomer movie I like a lot is a uh, uh, quick change. You remember that one where they robbing banks? It was yeah. Him and Gina Davis and he was dressed as a clown and shit. Yeah. Who was that? Uh, who was in it? Gina Davis, Bill Murray and Randy Quaid. Randy Quaid. Randy yes. Quaid. Whatever. No, Randy Quaid went nuts. Yeah, something yeah. something happened. So, okay, maybe then, maybe uh, his girl was clipping somebody famous and he couldn't deal with it. <laughs> couldn't handle it. Uh, I, <laughs> movie that I was going to say too that's really good with Christopher Walken. It's it's uh, unsung is uh, Nick of Time with Johnny Depp. Yeah, that's a great one. That's a good. That's a good. Right flick. with the when he's looking at the cl he's always going to the train station, right? Yeah, because well, because Christopher Walken's like this hitman, but he's going to make Johnny Depp do it, so he steals his, his daughter and he and then like he's opening up the envelope and. You got to kill whoever's in that envelope or I kill your daughter. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. a great movie. And then, um, so check this out. I heard this. I don't know if this is true or not, but they're saying that My Blue Heaven is a sequel to Goodfellas. Have you ever no. heard of that? That is supposed to be about Henry Hill, that, that Steve Martin plays the Henry Hill character. That's it may be in, based off of Henry Hill, but no. And it should be, and it's a, and it's a comedic uh, uh, sequel. No. You know, you're not, not having it? No, it's, that's like <laughs> connecting conspiracy dots. <laughs> and then uh, and then the last one that I had, too, that was a really good flick. Well, I've see, I, I seen, a, recently I've seen a good movie, but here, I'll, I'll, this one's uh, No Escape. I don't know if you've ever uh, seen with uh, with Owen Wilson and Pierce Brosnan. Owen Wilson goes to Thailand to take his family because he's working there. He's in the um, in the hotel, and a, and a fucking civil war breaks out, and he's got to get his family out, and it's fucking it's it's pretty cool, man. It's pretty good, a surprisingly good flick because he's usually doing comedies. I gotta be honest with you, man. I've been really disappointed in your suggestions lately. <laughs> like what? What? Just Stirred of Echoes? Stirred yeah, of Echoes there was another great. one that you recommended that was like I was like, why do you like this movie? What Sisu? Did you like not like Sisu? No, Sisu was good. Okay, and then what's what's the other one? I don't know. Um, there was another movie that you said. Uh, did you see Boogie Man? No, I don't. I'm, I'm, nah, nah. Oh yeah, I did see it. I did see it. It's like super dark and and dudes in it too. From uh, it's a newer movie from from Air. Uh, what's his name? No idea. Chris Messina. All right, what else you got on the list? Last movie that I've recently seen right now that I like a lot. It's on Netflix and it's called. I didn't think I was gonna like it. It was called A Man Named Otto with Tom Hanks. Is, is that like he's like an old man or he's, yeah. he's like bitter and stuff? Yeah. I didn't think I was going to like it. I was like, I didn't really give a fuck about it when I seen the trailer. But then uh, I was on an airplane and I saw the beginning of it. And then I, I finished it at the house. And it was it was really it was really good. I really liked it. I, I thought it was like kind of like that Clint Eastwood movie, Gran Torino. Gran Torino. Yeah, Gran Torino was good, though. Yeah. You didn't like Gran Torino? Oh, yeah. You know what was great about that? When he finally goes to the priest to confess. Mm -hmm. And, you know, 
priest is waiting to hear about all these people he killed. <laughs> and he's just like, uh, one time I, uh, I kissed a girl behind my wife's back. And that's all he confessed. <laughs> And that was it. <laughs> he didn't talk about stacking bodies and, you know, all that shit. He's got a good um, filmography with when he directs. He does a, he's a really good... Oh, he's good... a great director. So is Mel Gibson, man. Yeah. You know, uh, people can say what they want. That, guy's, that guy makes movies, man. <laughs> yeah. Braveheart's phenomenal. Patriot was phenomenal. Uh, uh, Apocalypto. Apocalypto was phenomenal. Yeah. Um, that the, war movie he did uh, with... Uh, Hatch, Hacksaw Ridge. Hacksaw Ridge was phenomenal. Uh, the, guy, the guy makes good, great movies. The Passion... Passion was strong. <laughs> yeah. And um, who, I'm trying to think who else. Uh, uh, what else? Clint Eastwood. Um, even like the one movies that are just like like little talking head flicks, like uh, Trouble with the Curve and um, the other one, The Mule. The Mule is uh, uh, like, you know, like it's still good. You know what I'm saying? Did you see the one where he's a drug, he's a drug runner? Yeah, but that, I, I started watching that, but you can see he was really old in that. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, he's, Million Dollar Baby's great. That's um, a great one. Uh, even the one with the tidal wave. I can't remember what it's called. Hereafter, I don't know about that. Uh, yeah, yeah, but all yeah, right. No. all right, but yeah. So that was that was the flicks. That was the rest of them that we didn't get to cover real quick, and you had me go over through them. Now, Carlos uh, set up an email account and a phone number, which we'll give out on the next one to see how this is going to work. So, if you guys uh, are starting to follow and listen, we're going to have a number where you could call in. Uh, it'll be every Tuesday at seven o'clock Pacific and uh, ten o'clock Eastern time, where you can call in or. We're going to have uh, an email address where you can just leave comments about, you know, how bad we suck. <laughs> yeah. And I'm sure you guys are going to be nice because, you know, everybody usually that listens to podcasts is that way. Or you can leave a voice message or some shit. What, what, we're, um, what were we talking about? We were gonna, what were we going to talk about this one? I forgot. We were talking on the phone. I think like uh, we're talking about Mount Crestmore. Oh, yes, yes, yes. And that's <laughs> how we were going to lead in because... Uh, Talking about the Taylor Swift thing and, you know, being a celebrity and dating is, you know, pretty tough, especially in that celebrity world. Yeah. I mean, because, you know, you got to think of it this way, too, is that uh, their options, like when you're super famous, your options are really limited because it's very hard to date a civilian. There's like apps, too, right? For like famous people to like a, like a Tinder yeah, app. Yeah, huh? yeah, yeah. There was an app uh, called, uh, I think it was Grinder. <laughs> <laughs> that I was on. No, uh, it's Raya. It's called Raya. Oh, okay. And um, yeah, well, it's not just for celebrities. It's like people that are like in high profile jobs, you know. Yeah, it's like a lot of professionals, and you got to get screened for it. And you know, um, I I was on that app. You know who got gave me that app for uh, when I got divorced was um, Moneyline Monaco. Little Alex. Oh yeah, yeah. Alex. Because <laughs> he was on it. And yeah, then, baby. But it, you know, it's 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 tough. And, you know, you, you wish them all well, like Kelsey and Taylor Swift. You wish them well. Um, but, you know, are, are these these relationships, do they last? And then we were talking about, like, guys back in the day, like in the 70s that oh. are, like, you know, those. there's always those celebrities that just, on the male side, that just crushed ass. <laughs> all day. All day. So we, we decided to create a Mount Crushmore of guys that... <laughs> Throughout history, have crushed ass, mm -hmm. and we'll make an argument for it. Um, I know who I got number one. All right, I'm going on the timeline. I, I know do you have somebody. You got to. I just I have someone, man, but I I'm trying to figure out to meet the criteria, like because some of my guys aren't 70s guys, and then well, they don't have to be 70s. I mean, you know, guys mm -hmm. today. Yeah, that are just like yeah, yeah. I got one one dude in particular. Because then we got to get like those high profile girls too. We gotta we gotta think of a name for their list. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, look, it's easy for a girl to to go get laid. But, mm -hmm. you know, you get these girls that get these high, this high, these high quality men. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, pulling. you know, that they're pulling. They're getting, <laughs> you know, guys like, you know, look at uh, what's her name? Giselle. Giselle. You yeah. date DiCaprio and then get Tom Brady. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, the question is, you know, when you're married to Giselle, are you watching DiCaprio movies? Yeah, that's another thing, right? Yeah, but, you know, you, you get those types of women that get these, like, you know, superstar men, like Taylor Swift. You know, she's dating now the best tight end in the, in the league. Yeah, who, what's her So history? that's a different list for them, right? Like Beyonce, got Jay-Z. You know, they're, they're, that's a yeah. different different list for them. These were guys that just, you know, 
went out and just unapologetically crushed ass. <laughs> just out there. To, uh, and so I'm going to nominate, because of the timeline, um, my first guy uh, is Ben Franklin. <laughs> it's Ben Franklin? Now, Ben Franklin His used story. to demolish <laughs> Vagine with those stupid glasses on. And <laughs> with the bifocals? By the way, you don't even know. Everybody looked like shit back then. He was like 12 with those, bi <laughs> those bifocals on and the, the, the powdered <laughs> wig. But okay. apparently this guy just demolished the colonies. I mean, just went around and just <laughs> was just crushing it. Double dipped. Well, I mean, but if you think about it, okay, you're a founding father. Mm. All right. You had a lot of pull before the Revolutionary War. He invented shit, glasses, printing press. Yep. So the story is that when America went to war with England, uh, Franklin went over to France with uh, <laughs> uh, one of the Adams, John Adams or... Yeah. Wednesday Adams. I don't remember <laughs> which one. Um, and apparently like John Adams want, cause they needed to get the French to side with us. Mm. So Adams was like practicing proper French, their etiquette where Ben Franklin went the other way. He said, look, man, let's give them what they think we are. Right. Like, like let's wear a coonskin hat and talk about killing bears and shit, you know? <laughs> So uh, Ben Franklin apparently went over there to, to get France to side. And, you know, he was out drinking every night, banging all of Paris. And then, uh, you know, got him on our side because they loved him. Oh, fuck, I know. But, yeah, Ben Franklin's the first guy uh, on my Mount Crushmore is I think that Ben Franklin is, is number one. <laughs> no. in, in, the, in the timeline. Fuck. Before we get to Billy D. Williams. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, fuck. Now mine's is like, it's, mine's is too current. No, just go ahead. We'll, we'll, I, I we'll figure just, it out. We're going to weed it out like we did, like we do. Uh, I was just going to say John Mayer, man. John Mayer crushes everything and everyone and high profile. Like That's strong. You got, you got Jessica Simpson on his, on his roster. You got uh, Jennifer Aniston, Jennifer Love Hewitt, uh, Alyssa Milano. And that's just something that I can come off the top of my head. There's probably others that, that he was cited with or whatever, whatnot. And yeah, man, like... That fool's been, and he's a good-looking dude, and plays, he's talented. Plays guitar, yeah. Sings a fucking, you know. I like his music, dude. Fuck, he's been he's been he's been crushing it for a while too on on that as aspect. And so yeah, I want to. If I die, I want to come back as his dick. As John Mayer, <laughs> John Mayer's uh, Dumb, Dumb. Brajol. <laughs> yeah. As John Mayer's, John Mayer's Pijoline. <laughs> the Pijoline. <laughs> that word just cracks me up. Uh, yeah, no. So that that my mind's is John Mayer. Uh, yeah, he because he he was killing it. Now, Who I mean, else? this yeah. is an all pro. This guy, this guy is probably the Michael Jordan of crushing it. And if you're not familiar with his statistics, I met this guy. So my next nominee for our Mount Crushmore is going to be Warren Beatty. Oh, Warren Beatty. Warren Beatty. Look up Dick Tracy. Look up his uh, his his dating resume. All right. He's strong. He's real strong. I think he's so strong that that Carly Simon song made a, she made a song about him. That's You're so his, vain. That, that's him. Yeah. Oh, okay. He's like, he's like uh, the Dave Coulier. <laughs> you know that song? Uh, you ought to know, and I swear, you remind me. That's Dave. She wrote that because Dave Coulier, bro. <laughs> Dave Coulier was laying it down. Oh, you know. Uh, let me just write it down. Actually. To Alanis Morissette. Wait, wait, Dave Beatty, right? No, Warren Beatty. War. Oh, sorry, that's what I meant. Warren Beatty, right? Yeah. 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 So we've got Jane Fonda on this list. Uh huh. Joan Collins. Yeah. Cher. Yeah. Cher. <laughs> Natalie Wood. Keep going. Uh huh. Vivian Leigh. Vivian Lee. Yeah. Lee. Yeah. Yeah. Le uh, Leslie uh, Caron. Mm. I don't know who that is. Maybe it's Leslie Caron. I don't know. C A R O N. Anyway. Would help if you can read, but let's go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, gee, some of these names, bro. Mommy Van Doren. Mimi Van Doren, maybe? Mamie? Mamie? I don't know. I don't know. M A M I E. Mm -mm, I don't even know. M A M I E. Right, she's a bombshell. Hold on. Mamie? She's a bombshell. She's a fucking. Pull her up. Oh, look oh, at that. Oh, there it goes. Look there it him. goes. Look at that. That's strong. <laughs> is this all his list? Yeah, this is, this this is, is a list. list. Oh, yeah. Julie Christie. Keep going. Faye pictures. Dunaway. Look, oh. at, look, at, look at Beatty up front. <laughs> 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 Just chilling. Warm. Oh, Bridget Bardot. That was she was like the 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 supermodel the seventies and actress. She was like Carly Simon. We mentioned. Mm -hmm. Oh, Joni Mitchell. Joni Mitchell. Oh, don't that's kind of crazy. Seem to go, but you don't know what you got till it's gone. 
Look at this girl, Britt oh. Inkland. Eckland. Mm, yeah, no idea. They're all Bond. Oh, Bond that's girls. the girl from Wait, uh, Judy Corn. I think she was from um, Laughing. Yeah, she, which was a show in the sixties. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. She, Laughing. She was like the it girl, and he got Goldie Hawn. Uh, and but Goldie Hawn too. Yeah. Goldie Hawn. What? Oh no, Kurt. No. Michelle Phillips. Now that's from Wilson Phillips. That's. Uh, oh okay. Yeah, Candace Bergen he got to. Look at what? this guy. He got Murphy Brown? Kate Jackson <laughs> <laughs> from Charlie's Angels. <laughs> Melanie Griffith. This guy's just... Melanie Griffith. Raquel Welch. Okay, Shame. first of all, oh, yeah. Raquel Welch is in that... That atmosphere. Taylor Swift, you know, Beyonce. That, that Raquel Welch is one of the most gorgeous women of all time. Mm. I meant gorgeous. Latina, too. Iman, she was a famous model. He got uh, Mary Tyler Moore? What? <laughs> Keep Damn. going. Diane Keaton? Diane Rose? <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, this guy's the MVP. Oh, Connie Chung? Chung? That's uh, oh, Maury Povich's girl. Bro, this oh, is no. still going. Diane Sawyer? Fucking hell. Justine, Justine Bateman? Bateman? Oh, no. Family that Ties? had to be. Wait, go back down. The girl from... Uh, uh, family Ties. Yeah, Jason Bateman's sister? Yeah. What was the age difference on this? Oof. Especially at that time, too. Stephanie Seymour. Oh, wow. Elle McPherson. Elle McPherson, what? Dude, this guy transcends decades. <laughs> Carol Alt. Carol uh, was I lying? I don't know who this girl is, but she's stunning. Madonna? Oh, he got Madonna? Madonna? <laughs> this guy's clip resume. Barbara Streisand? Look how oh. old he is in this, bro. Dude, he, he, he doesn't stop. Uh, I Annette Bar Benning. Benning. I knew he, that. That's where he ends, right? No. Oh, he doesn't end there? Jacqueline Kennedy? He got Jacqueline Kennedy. A bridge way to what? I don't know. I, no. A bridge like a, too far. So now they're saying, what does that say underneath it? The same kind of thing. A bridge way too far. Yeah. Princess Margaret. Wait, go back down. What, what does this mean, a bridge too far? What does that uh, say underneath? It, it, it may, may come, come as a surprise that several people have reported that Warren Beatty and Jackie Kennedy had a brief affair. It's not a surprise. <laughs> How is that a surprise? <laughs> <laughs> Which was apparently the first Jesus. lady's way of getting even with her. Philandering husband, ah. President Kennedy. So, so she clipped uh, Warren. <laughs> this guy's strong. Damn. Oh shit! All right, Princess Margaret. Is this what does that say underneath? Uh, but he also because uh, yeah. he, he's married to Annette. Yeah, Benning, it's the saying that he, uh, he 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 clipped uh, he clipped the Princess Margaret. Now, now look what the next thing says. Now this is getting ridiculous. <laughs> Lillian Hellman. Who's that? Uh, What's it say? A Broadway according, movie writer. According to according to several stories, BD enjoyed a romp with Broadway and movie writer Lillian Hellman. God, man, what did she write? Oh, John matter. Mayer, who? <laughs> <laughs> ben Franklin, what? Warren Beatty, crap. Look at Warren Beatty. Go. That was his whole list. That, so wow, the there's got to be kept more. Kept going, man. Well, this is all the ones that are counted. You know. Yeah. Talk about Dick Tracy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scrolling for like. 30 seconds this, straight. Wait, wait, who's the one, the first one, right? That one. Jane Fonda. Oh, Jane, Jane Fonda. Fonda. <laughs> yeah. Let me find that, uh, let's John see. John Collins here. There. Cher. Who was it? That Natalie Wood was gorgeous, man. Vivian Lee, yeah, she yeah. was gorgeous. This, this this girl, I don't know who this Leslie is. Leslie Caron. What does Caron. it say underneath that it'll explain? Uh, They hooked up at a party. That's pretty much what they're saying. Well, I mean, is this? I mean, like, fucking, yeah, that's all we got. Yeah. Let's see. I mean, I, I, how do we top this? Maybe I don't know. Maybe. Prince? Oh, Prince is a really good Prince one. Prince is strong. Prince is hella strong. Prince, Prince will fuck you and make you famous. Like, out, out, of, out of nowhere, just a whole career. Prince. We got to look up Prince. his stats. Prince is ridiculous. Uh, I'll pull up his stats. All right. So far, we got Warren Beatty. Is Right now, he's... <sighs> yeah. We, I, I've never <laughs> seen it. I, I, that's even more... I, I, this guy's... Clipping first ladies. I'm and learning shit today. The queen. <laughs> Queens and royalty. <laughs> he's he's <laughs> got the, the first lady to cheat on her husband with him. Yeah. This guy. This guy. <laughs> this guy's at Buckingham Palace. He's got, <laughs> just sleeping Sneaking in. Sneaking through the window. Making, he's a pebbles. Sa making a sandwich. He dicked his way through history. <laughs> <laughs> like he got Jackie O. Jeez. And how old is he that he's still clipping? All right. This is Prince's resume. That was Prince. Let's see. Boom. All right. So yeah, the smallest Ap text. Apollonia, right? That's uh, Sheila E. Yeah. Sheila e, Glamorous yeah. life. I love Sheila E. Sheila E goes. Sheila E's great. Uh, Apollonia, right? Apollonia mm. Cotero. Yeah. Oh, dude. Yeah. She's beautiful. Yeah. Uh, let's see. We got uh, Kim Basinger. Basinger. Oh, Kim oh, Basinger. Basinger. Yeah. Oh, Kim Basinger. Yeah. You don't know who that is? No, I don't know who that is. All right. Keep going. Oh, Carmen Electra. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, keep going. Discovered her. I have no idea. Uh, Nona, Nona Gay? Oh, wait. Is, hmm? is she related to Marvin Gay? I don't know, but mm-hmm. keep going. All right, word. Look at Prince. Uh, Mady Garcia? Oh, oh my t- my t- that my That's t- who she was with. He was with her for a while. She was like a choreographer. Oh, that's She's awesome. beautiful. Hey, Ananda Lewis. Yeah, Ananda Lewis. Keep going. Who's that? Manuela Testolini. Mm. Look at Prince. <laughs> He's got that international. Yeah, keep going. He's so mysterious. <laughs> <laughs> Misty Copeland. Rest his soul. Yeah. One of those dancers that he was torn with. Oh, look at this yeah. guy. And uh, who's this? Uh, Furia Valente. Keep going. Another backup singer. That's all we got on this. Uh, and that's not even counting the dudes he clipped. Yeah. Sheesh. <laughs> All right, we, we, is Prince good to be on this? Prince is good to be on this, man, because I bet you there's a lot more that we're just not... We're not That's just hard on the list. Yeah. yeah. All right, you know what? While we're here, might as well look up John Mayer. All right. Yeah, let's see right. John. Yeah, let me pull up the, the display here so I can uh, show the audience. <laughs> let's see. John, John Mayer. Mayer dating <laughs> history. Oh, look, that's, that's fucking front page right there. Let's, let's see. see this. I'm assuming these are just the celebrities, you know. So Taylor Swift, uh huh, Jennifer Aniston, Cameron Diaz. I don't know this girl, Kiernan Shipka. This is all the women he's romantically involved with. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Kristen Cavallari. Oh yeah, that's uh, she was married to the quarterback dude um, for the for the Bears, wasn't she? Oh, uh, uh, Jay uh, Jay Cutler. Jay, Jay Cutler. Cutler. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Katy Perry. Oh, no way. Okay. Oh, shit. Yeah. Uh, Jennifer Love Hewitt, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Vanessa Carlton. Oh, right. <laughs> That's a, a thousand miles if I could walk a thousand miles. In- oh, yes. Right, that, yeah. There it is right on here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Rona Mit- Mitra? Oh, Rona Mitra. She was bad. Who's that? She- uh, British actress. Yeah. What does that mean? Uh, and she- Sonja in the Underworld. Yeah, she was on Underworld, and she was like, uh, she was a guest star a lot on Party of Five and a lot of the little bit parts and shit. Dude, Jessica Simpson. Yeah, Jessica Simpson. Mika, oh, Mika Kelly. Oh, Mika Kelly. That's uh, uh, what you call it? Derek Jeter. Used to mess with her for a while. Um, he's on the list. Oh yeah, he's definitely oh, on the list. He got a Jeter's got to be on yeah. the list. He had consolation prizes. Yeah, he give you a little gift bag when you go home. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Renee Zellweger. Oh, Renee yeah. Zellweger. Zellweger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> Uh, and uh, Sh- uh, Sheena Marie. Who? Sheena Marie. I don't know. Babies. Mm-hmm. I don't know what she... You never heard of Renee Zellweger? Nah. That's Bridget Jones. Bridget Jones' Diary. Um, Empire Records. Empire Records is a good movie. Oh, wait. For, we also got to get Elvis on this list. Oh, yeah. Oh, you mean Elvis, you Elvis yeah. and Sinatra are definitely yeah. on this list. And then... Uh, do you, want, do you want to pull up either their history? Yeah, put now? up Elvis. Put up Elvis. <laughs> we got to look at that. All right, right now, though, nothing, nothing's better than Warren Beatty. Yeah, Warren Beatty was a surprise to me. I mean, I knew he was a playboy, but I didn't know he was getting down. Yeah. Let's see. Okay. Oh, well, obviously Priscilla. Yeah, I mean, of, cor- yeah. of course Priscilla. You know. Which was weird. He met her at 13. Mm-hmm. That's out of pocket, man. Yeah, <laughs> but you know what's crazy is that he promised the father that he wouldn't touch her until she turned 18, and she said he didn't. In her book, she said that he didn't. Uh huh. And uh, well, I mean, good, I guess. Yeah. It's just like, it's, I, I mean, what a, what a weird. It's how did that weird, conversation but, come up? You know. But, but uh, you know what else is weird is my grandmother, my great grandmother, had a family at like thirteen and fourteen. Shit. Yeah, and uh, what Jerry Lee Lewis married his cousin when she yeah, was fifteen. That, that's weird, man. That's you know, weird. different times. Uh, and Margaret to me is up there with Raquel Welch mm. as some of the most be- one of the most beautiful women ever. And Margaret's got to go on the uh, the all time girl list too. Of course, Liz Taylor is going to be on that. We'll, we'll make that list. We'll make that list later. That'll like, be next. Like weekend. the bad, bit, those bad, you know, those girls that are just nailing down. Mm. All right, and Margaret. There we, Did we go. Lose you? There we go. Yep, and Margaret. Yeah, look at her, man. She's beautiful. Uh huh. Look at Elvis. Hey, man. I, I gotta tell you, that dress, you look great in that dress. I sound more like uh, Harry Carey. Uh, uh, Connie Stevens. Going. Connie Fucking Stevens, yeah. She's, uh, she's saying, uh, oh no, is that Connie Francis? Well, she might be on the list too. Uh, uh, she's saying she was a, uh, an actress, but I think she, she was a singer too. Or I'm thinking of Connie Francis. All right, keep going. Is this Sybil oh, Shep- Sybil Shepard. Yeah. Oh, that's right. She was a fashion model. Um, you know who else was was 
pretty uh hot back in the day was um not ra- uh the one that had the the cooking girl, the one that went to jail. Uh Martha Stewart? Martha Stewart was banging back okay. in the day. All right, Sybil Shepherd, who else we got? We've got uh, Natalie Wood. Yeah, also. Natalie Woods. Oh, yeah. she's got to go on this this list. <laughs> she's the one that, dude. That, she's so beautiful, man. She drowned. She drowned right with. That's tragic. Christopher Walken. Christopher, Christopher and, Walken uh, was on the boat. Who else was on the boat? Um, the dude from Heart to Heart, the the show. And he was also on Robert Wagner. I Robert think. Wagner, yeah, yeah. But I think they were married. Yeah, Robert Wagner and her were married. Look right? how pretty she was. So beautiful. Mm-hmm. All right, let's scroll. Linda Thompson. Is that J Lo? Oh, Linda Thompson. That was his. Uh, mm. That was his girlfriend here in Vegas. You know what's crazy? He's only he. I think he was forty two when he died. Really? Yeah. So he he was fairly young. Mm. You know what I mean? He said a lot. When of time you think to go. about it, um, Linda Thompson. Yeah, keep going. I mean, th- these are just the ones he was married to, or I have no idea. No. Peggy Lipton. Okay. Yeah. It's a, oh, it says dated here. Yeah. yeah. All right. Oh, keep yeah. going. Yeah. I need a wood. Oh, yeah. Okay. So he's probably clipping all his coasters. Rita Moreno. <laughs> no pun intended for Anita Wood. Huh. Uh, boom, boom. <laughs> himself. Uh, he fucked himself. <laughs> <laughs> Ginger and Alden. They just threw a picture of Elvis yeah, on Ginger. No, uh, we got to look her no up. No photos of, of Ginger Alden. Okay. You know who else clips a lot, too, is that uh, the, the lead singer of Counting Crows. Like he, uh, the, I think he, he banged like Jennifer Aniston and Courtney Cox and uh, Emily Rosam. Uh, you know that Emily uh, Shameless. You ever watch Shameless? Yeah. Yeah, the 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 curly haired girl on that, and he's someone else too. But yeah. Elvis, from what I heard, also, uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, they dated uh, Dionne Warwick and Whitney Houston's mom, Moms, yeah. Sissy Houston. Mm-hmm. I'm uh, I'm pulling up Sinatra right now. Oh, this guy. <laughs> Let's see, Sinatra dating history. Good Frank. <laughs> Such a man. The hat. Ooh. Oh, this just gives us like a... Li- it doesn't give us any pictures. Is that fine? Yeah, that's fine. I'll just read them. Because it's... Uh, so we've got uh, Jacqueline pro- Kennedy. They pro- oh. he, Jackie Kennedy, too? Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Man, she, 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 you know, she got back at Bobby. <laughs> uh, and, uh, John. It's like, you want to fuck around? You yeah. want to clip Marilyn Monroe? Oh, John Kennedy's got to be on this yeah, right. list. <laughs> <laughs> Jeter and Kennedy got to be on this list. They made tunnels for them hoes to come through. <laughs> Uh, we've got uh, uh, Victoria Principal. Yeah, Victoria Principal. Uh-huh. Uh, Irene Sue. Okay. Uh, Jill St. John. Dorothy Provine. Jill St. John was hot. I got no idea, man. Yeah, I know. You, yeah. you didn't even know who Renee Zellweger is. <laughs> no, nah, man. Good luck with this. Yeah. Uh, Kip Hamilton. I don't know what that is. Marilyn Monroe, of course. Mm-mm. You know. Uh, Gina Lola Brigida. Lola Brigida. Yeah. She was like, uh, you know, she's very famous hot girl. <laughs> Word. <laughs> Martha, Martha Heyer. Martha Heyer. Yeah. H-Y-E-R. Martha Heyer. Yeah. Uh, Adele, Adele Beatty. Beatty. Adele Beatty. Maybe that's Warren's sister. Mm. No, and his sister's Annette Benning. Who, who's it? Warren no. Beatty's sister is Annette Benning. No, Warren Beatty's married to Annette Benning. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I just made that up. <laughs> uh, he Mar- has a sister, I think. For American Beauty, yeah. Uh, Gene Carter. Or is it Shirley MacLaine? Is that his sister? No. Uh, uh, Gene Carmen. Hmm. No idea. All right. Uh, look, up if, <laughs> <laughs> look up if Shirley MacLaine is uh, Warren Beatty's sister. Okay. Shirley McLean. Shirley McLean. McLean. Does it say it's it's her sister? I'm looking right now. Let's see. Warren Beatty's is her brother. We've got uh, we've got all kinds of awards. Born here. Looks like her. No, it doesn't even mention. Doesn't say sp- mm. oh, relatives. Warren Betty. Or Warren, Warren Beatty. Beatty. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't right. know that. He's married to Annette Benning. That's right. Yep. Correct. You are correct, sir. <laughs> so so far we got oh we well, I mean, if we go down Jeter, that's uh, I don't even know how long we'll be here with Jeter. Fucking hell. All right, so so far we got uh Jeter was with Mariah Carey at one point too. Yeah, we got John Mayer, Warren Beatty, Prince, Jeter, Elvis, Sinatra. 
Uh, what about um, if we're going with sheer numbers, Will Chamberlain? Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> the guy. Will, Will Chamberlain has got. What didn't he say? A thousand. Ten. He said ten thousand. He said he banged ten thousand. How is that even possible? <sighs> he was traveling, man. Uh, yeah, uh, we travel. In the games. So all right, you um, figure what? If you're doing, say you're doing three girls a year a day. That's 900 and whatever. Let's say that's 1,000 a year. Mm. So 10 years. He had a long run. I mean, he's been, he, he played what? That means three girls a day every day for 10 years. They were built different back then, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, he definitely was built different. So even if it's half his numbers, but now we're doing quantity versus quality. You yeah, know what I that's mean? the thing too, yeah. Like these guys are all quality. Yeah, they're all we could we we got. I mean, if we're, if we're just doing quantity, that there's about 800 comics. I know it's <laughs> not all quality. Yeah, <laughs> clipping threes and shit, putting them together. <clears throat> um, all right. So, oh, can we look up Ben Franklin's resume? I mean, I I want to <laughs> I, I want to make sure that's accurate. Yeah, because he is the founding forefather, and he's the founding father on this list. We definitely have to have Will Chamberlain on there. Let's see. What's count? Let me see. Wilt Chamberlain. All right. So far, we got Franklin, Mayor, Warren Beatty, Prince, Derek Jeter, Elvis, Sinatra, John Kennedy, Wilt Chamberlain. And then, oh, this dude, too. We got Burt Reynolds. Oh, yeah. What's it say? Oh, look at his list. Deborah Reed. Oh, they got names? Mm -mm. They got names. <laughs> Catherine Ray. I mean, obviously, we don't have pictures of any of these people. Margaret you know. Stevenson. I think that was his wife, though, right? Uh, let's or is see. That, is that his sister? She, he banged both the Stevensons? <laughs> I got nothing on here on if he was married to it. Wait, hold on. Let's see. It just said, th so this is just all his romantic involvements. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. If he's got a queen on here, oh, Madame Brillion de Jour. Yeah, that must have been a girl in Paris. 100%. Madame, there's another one, Helvi Helvidius. Look at Franklin. <laughs> Franklin laying it down. <laughs> With Madame Helvidius. Holy. That's, that's what we got. Madame Helvidius, Madame Brion de Joy. How, how do they know, like, these? <laughs> these... Yeah, they must have been, like, letters and stuff, you know? Yeah. yeah. Not to mention the... She called Franklin, mon cher papa. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Call me papa, mon cher papa. <laughs> His little bifocals. <laughs> he's, he's clipping with his bifocals and those little uh, shoes with the the pa the 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 buckles on it. <laughs> he's like, it takes him eight hours to take his shoes off. Um, oh, he clipped Renown Ryder. Who's this? Uh, Adam Dirtz, uh, the leader singer from Counting Crows. He's got Mary Louise Parker under the belt. He's got uh, Jennifer Aniston, one on Ryder. Monica Potter. I always thought Monica Potter was pretty good. Um, and Laura Flynn Boyle. Uh, Who's this? Uh, uh, Counting Crows, uh, the lead singer. He like, and then he banged. He, he got Courtney Cox and Jennifer Aniston, and then he got uh, Emily Rossum too. What's his name? Uh, Christina Applegate. No um, way. Yeah, dude, she's so hot. Samantha Mathis. I remember Samantha Mathis. I think she's sick now though. Who? Which one? Applegate, Christina. Yeah, she got sick. Yeah, yeah. She's, so awful. I, what is it? Is it Parkinson's or it's something? I That's don't know, terrible. Something, yeah. Um, what's his name though? Uh, Adam Dirtz. All right, Adam Dirtz. Yeah. Mrs. Jones and me. <laughs> yeah. Fairy tale. <laughs> and then uh, who else? Who else? The uh, leads here. Aerosmith had uh, had to have banged everybody, right? Oh, Jack Johnson. That's the other one. Oh, Jack Johnson. I think he's the first black heavyweight. But this guy was such a badass. He was banging chubby white girls in like <laughs> the, the 1900s. He gave zero fucks. He, he was, this guy gave zero fucks. <laughs> Put him. Uh, is this the guy? No, no, that's a, that's okay. a Is that the first black heavyweight? No. In, no. Well, I mean, like, you know, I was like, that can't be right. No, that's a, a singer of the ukulele dude. Jack this guy, Johnson. so apparently, like, he would go into bars uh -huh. with, like, chubby white girls. Like, he, he was the trendsetter. He was the first. <laughs> He's the first one. And then he would piss off all the white guys in the bar, but they, they wouldn't do anything. They wouldn't step to him. Yeah. That's what a savage he was. <laughs> He was the first. Yeah, that's him. <laughs> Look at him. He don't give a shit. Hell yeah. Yeah, Jack Johnson's definitely on here. It's going to go <laughs> Ben Franklin and Jack Johnson. 
That's fun. So this is a 1910. Look at that. What a fucking pioneer. What a we got to, I don't know. Well, of course I, I don't know who any of these people are. He went to jail or something for like they 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 were trying to lock him up. He didn't give a shit. He got out and went and got he clipped again. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. He don't give a fuck. Uh-huh. <laughs> you gotta love that guy. That guy's definitely in the history books. <laughs> All right, we we <laughs> you're all excited. You're all happy. About <laughs> I love that. this guy. Um, <clears throat> I know we're missing some. Oh, one more. Come on, brothers. Uh-huh. What about Billy D. Williams? Billy D. Williams. Let's see. And Muhammad Ali was a coxman too. <laughs> yeah, Billy D. Williams was. How are, how you doing, Chewbacca? <laughs> <laughs> what is Schlitz? Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, we got. Uh, Is this his top five? It, it must be. Yeah, looks like top five. That's we, it. Oh we, no, I mean obviously this guy. Well, was Sean Connery pulling him down like that? Too? Oh my god! Forget <laughs> about Sean Connery. <laughs> <laughs> Sean Connery, Tom Jones. Yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> Sean Connery, absolutely. Out the gate. But, you know, th- this was that era, though, where those dudes, they had chest hair and mustaches. <clears throat> S- smoked cigarettes. Fuck yeah. Picked up checks. They didn't give a fuck. Yeah. They could care less. Hey, that's the girl from the Michael Jackson video. Is it? The one on the bottom? Yeah, the, uh, that's that. Uh, hey, oh, the one from uh, Dude, Hey Pretty Baby yeah, yeah, with the High Heels on. Is that her? Yeah, that looks like her. That's, that's no. Her. Yeah. Tatiana Thompson. Thompson. Tom, or Thurston. It's it's T H U M B T Z E N. Yeah. That's Thumpton? crazy. Thumpton? <laughs> Thumb Thumpson, I guess. That's gotta be it. That looks dead on her. Well, uh, yeah, look, look, uh love interest of pop star Michael Jackson in the music video for the song, the way you How'd know. How'd you call it? That's a great yeah, call on yeah, your that's, that's crazy. That's a good eye. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> How old is Billy D though? So all right, so we gotta look at the year that came out was what, nineteen eighty eight? I mean it had to Let's see. Uh, the way you make me. The way you make me feel. No way. Really yeah, that's got to be like eighty-eight. You knock me so off Billy D's got to be feet, damn near eighty now. So all right, well, just let's do the math. So eighty-seven, yeah. Eighty-seven. So she was okay. like twenty-seven. Okay. So Billy D in eighty-seven was in his forties at least. Good for him. Yeah, that's oh, a, dude, twenty years younger. Dude, yeah. he's a guy. That guy could clip him and Elvis could clip half the female population. <laughs> Way to go! You know, and and here's the problem: is in today's day and age, these, <laughs> these guys had swag. All right, this was my dad's generation, and those guys they just you know they just carried themselves. Mm. They knew how to talk. You know what I mean? Yeah. Let's see. Let's see Jeters. Actually, I do want to see what Jeters. Oh yeah, Jeters. Yeah, wait, I want to see Stellar. Jeters. Yeah, let's see this. This pl- uh, remind me of his first name. Uh, Derek. Derek. Jeter. Derek, thank <laughs> Derek <you>. Jeter. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> I love it. I love. I love. Dude, it. I love you, buddy. But come on, I man. Love <laughs> I love. Look, I, I've never had to spell his name before. What's you know, fucking... Jordan? What's his first name? Jordan. Uh, Jordan. Uh, he, he Frank. Played, he played basketball. It's Derek <laughs> Jeter. <laughs> I got Derek Jeter right here. Okay. New York Yankee. You know who that is, right? Uh, oh, shit. I, I got it right here. He's uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, in the in the, the MLB. Uh huh. <laughs> he said he's the owner of the uh, Tampa Bay Devil Rays. I gotta tell you something. <laughs> All right, batter up. I know, cause like, so basically, I from you know, rumor is that like the girls that they would have constant like packages and shit for. Yeah, he would give them like a mitt and a bat and shit. And, yeah, like, a sign fucking... for their family. Yeah. They give them the gift basket. Yeah, you give know? them the gift That's basket. That's a gentleman. The fucking... What a gentleman. Elvis was like that too. Yeah? So from what I heard was is that like all these girls would want to meet him and then they would line up and then he would pick like one or two and then give the girls like a scarf or some shit. <laughs> a mink on their way out. <laughs> A scarf. <laughs> They'd be like, oh, I, am I on it? Just for you. He gave them some, <laughs> he gave them some towels from the hotel room. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead serious. Some nut rags. We've got uh, the list here of all the celebrities, at least. All right, so Jeter, let's go. So we got uh, 
Lara Duta. Okay. Adriana Lima. Oh, wow. Jessica Biel. Oh, wow. Jessica okay. Alba. Oh, wow. Vera Guerra. Oh, wow. Uh, Tyra Banks. Oh, oh Vera Vi- Guerra? <laughs> what? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Gabriel Union. Yeah. Bridget Hall. What? Jordana Brewster. Oh, shit. Scarlett Johansson. Oh, that's that. She's. Scarlett Johansson's just stunning. Jordana Brewster, too, was bad as fuck back then, though, too. She was, she was not. Uh, Rachel Uchitel. That sounds familiar. I don't know if I know who that is. Uh, Vanessa Lakey. Mm-hmm. Uh, that... It says like like name Mani, uh, Minio or something afterwards. Mm-hmm. Whatever. Joy Enriquez, Mariah Carey. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Minka Kelly. Minka, so yeah, I see Minka Kelly. Minka Kelly, she 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 gets high profile dudes, man. Is she she's got to be on that list too. Yeah, and it's funny because like she's not in a lot of things, but she 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 pulls them. I don't know if it's gentlemanly to to do a female list. Yeah, why? Well, I, no, no, I don't no. know. Give them their due. Because, you know, any girl. To pull. Oh. Yeah, but I mean, to get a guy to commit to you and just lose everything. That's special. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, like Liz Taylor. Yeah. Eight times she was married. <laughs> Marilyn Monroe. Yeah. She took she took Sinatra down. She took Kennedy down. She took... Uh, DiMaggio. Joe DiMaggio. Like, he never got over. No. But, you know, because she was a little, you know... A little fucking whacked out. Yeah, and that's always, you know, those girls are phenomenal in bed can't believe it well this has been an interesting <laughs> <laughs> we've discovered a lot <laughs> i mean right now i mean so i mean i i thought ben franklin was strong but <laughs> yeah warren Beatty came out of nowhere warren Beatty. Ba- not nah, well i mean he's just known for it There's warren no Beatty's list was insane I didn't i've never that. seen it's it's nothing we were like scrolling that. for like five minutes and not only that he, he batty. got carly simon to write that song now they said it was either him it was about him or the guy that just passed away that sang uh, Margaritaville. Oh. Uh, Jimmy Buffett. Jimmy Buffett. Jimmy Buffett. I'll tell you right now, okay, the, the female equivalent. And again, we're, we can't do the female with the numbers because it's not fair. Okay. Right? Because right. if any female could get numbers and... Because and, we're talking about girls that like... The quality of like are bad, Like the badass girls that can just... Stevie Nicks. Stevie Nicks. No, I saw a meme that was like Stevie Nicks was so was such a bad bitch that she wrote the song about the dude. Yes. And he had to play and sing back up on that song next to her. Yeah, they're <laughs> like, it's a, and she finds out that he cheated on her like that day or that night. Or she wrote so this shit. song. I forgot what song it is. And just imagine that I'm writing this song about you, and you got to play on it, and you're gonna sing. <laughs> Your backup, and bitch. he had to do it every time they they performed. Every time Fleetwood Mac performed. Yeah, I yeah yeah. Um, I have an idea, but I gotta I gotta check this. Okay, what's, what do you what, what's what the do you idea? think? Uh, George Strait's was like. George Strait. George Strait. I mean, he had to have been like, the country singer. Yeah, right. No? That's a whole other realm. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you know, of people we don't know. I mean, yeah, let's. let's let, see what, right, what do we got? I mean, I'm, I'm gonna let's see here. I and mean, then, it's and, rain. And, I would have never thought of George. And, oh yeah. I mean, he wrote that song. All my exes live in Texas. You know. Okay, so how many like, are we talking? I mean, <laughs> come on, let's see. And after this, we'll do Lyle Love It. <laughs> <laughs> Can I find this? Julia Roberts. Uh, uh, We're gonna it, find it out who's high married. caliber. Yeah. He must have just been married. I can't find anything, man. Uh, dating history here. We might have a list. But see, in Beyonce's only been with like I don't know if she's ever dated anybody else besides Jay Z that that famous. Yeah, I think so either. I think he got her like real young. I'm pretty sure she probably like went to someone's prom or some shit. But she was never like. That's what I mean. Yeah, like yeah. you know, there was no. And you know, people don't realize again. It's such a small. It's like a Celine Dion shit. But it's yeah. Yeah. But it's such a small like you know when you're at that super super level you you know you're only going to really date people that, in that in that, pool. in that little pool yeah because where are you going to go you know you can't be dating you know well that's that like bob that, the the uh-huh. the locksmith yeah that's that uh, <laughs> you know what i mean that premise for the movie notting hill where you know julia roberts is a movie star and, and hugh grant is just some fucking shopkeep in in, in england or baker or whatever the fuck but yeah man i think this guy must have just been married his whole life man his songs are a lie. Uh, here, here we are. You know, it was worth a shot, I guess. You know, <laughs> I gotta say, I thought for I gotta, sure I gotta, I gotta say guy, something you know? though for you to pull that out, and then for this just to fizzle out. 
<laughs> very That's disappointed. Bit, very, so disappointing. Very disappointing. Yeah. yeah. I really thought like we we we. I hit, thought I was about to hit, happen or something. Yeah. You know? like, yeah. <laughs> I was all excited. I'm like, I didn't even think of that. Yeah. yeah. This would be gold, right? You know. What about Hank Williams if we're in country? Yeah. I mean, Hank okay. Williams had to have clipped everyone. Let's see. I mean, but these guys, they are. They they stay married and everything. You know, they they're actually pretty normal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they like don't kiss and tell. You know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm even trying to think too, like um, actors, rappers. Um, who else would be? Uh, and the rappers, uh, they gotta. Okay, but then there's a certain world where, like, it's exp like you can't go porn stars, right? Mm. We're talking like high level class people. Mm. You know what I mean? That aren't out there on Instagram and doing OnlyFans and shit like that. Oh, okay, OnlyFans. Does that make sense? Yeah, I get what you're saying. You're talking about icons, people with like, the, all right, if we were talking about talent, say, right? If we were talking about like mm. top 10 singers, you could mention John Mayer and Prince or okay. ba baseball player. You're going to mention Derek Jeter. You're going to mention Elvis. You know what I'm saying? You're going to yeah. mention Warren Beatty. These are like of that level. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, I get you. That's the criteria. It has to be in the top 10. Yeah, like when you're of their field. Even the girls, like, you know, Taylor Swift and Ann Margaret and, you know, these types of people, these are mm. high caliber, high quality artists as well, if that makes sense. Yeah. You know, I, uh, I couldn't really find uh, much of anything on Hank Williams either. Oh, shit. Okay, well, these guys just must be country guys just get married, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> you know, apparently, uh, I'll tell you, it was, a, uh, I guess, I don't know if it was, I read an article with Dolly Parton. What, but she, she was married to the same dude, but I guess they might have been into some wild stuff. They had the upside down pineapple on the door. That's what I, that's oh, what I, I, I don't know. I, I think I read that somewhere. I don't know if that's true, but we don't have to research that. <laughs> okay. But I think she was, Dolly Parton was so hot, man. Yeah. She, yeah. Yeah. And she, her work is nice. The what, like her, uh, her plastic surgery. It's not bad. Yeah. She did, <laughs> she's got, she's got some, some, some shit right there. I just remember being a kid and everybody always talked about her big boobs. Yeah. <laughs> have you guys seen the uh, the recent photos of Cher? No, no, no like no. she basically looks the same. Really, as she, it's crazy. Can she move? But can her face? Dude, she, Dolly Parton's face could still move. I don't know that Cher's face. Cher is definitely, definitely top five baddest women of all time. Mm -hmm. She, she stayed. She stayed stunning. She bagged Tom Cruise when he was a kid. Did she really? Yeah, she was with Tom Cruise for a while, and then uh, who else was she with after that? She, a couple cats. Yeah, let's see her. Let's see her list uh, after Sunny. Yeah, I feel like uh, after Sunny. Well, with Sunny too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I feel like there were some. Maybe maybe I'm not thinking of Cher, but uh, no. She, I, well, some of these are not that flattering, but no. Well, Cher, I mean, she's 77. I mean, look at her. I mean, Cher. That's insane. It, 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 Cher, Raquel Welch, and Margaret. Um, you know they they lasted a long, long time. Uh, Tom Cruise was married to Mimi Rogers, right? At one point. Was he? Is he? I, thought I so. remember uh, Burt Reynolds was married to Dinah Shore, and there was like a 20 age. We got, all right, let's, yeah, last one. Nah. Let's look up Burt Reynolds before we go. Yeah, yeah. I was just thinking that. And then I think, I think too, uh, I'll tell you who was cute, man. I thought made like great wifey material was Sally Field. I always, I always was like attracted to her. Yeah. Cause she was like cute and funny. You know what I mean? Mm hmm. All right, let's see. Who Burt Reynolds has dated? Okay. Kate hey. Edelman. Uh-huh. Keep going. Lonnie and of course, they were married forever. Yeah, she was married for three years to a Tom Cruise. Mimi Tammy, Rogers. Tawny Little. Tawny Little. Sally Field. Look how cute she was. Yeah. I always thought she was pretty. Was she also on, uh, on, on Beatty's list? Beatty's list? On, on Beatty? Uh, no. Beatty, yeah. uh, no, I don't think so. I feel like I saw her on one of the, definitely on one of these other lists. You know? All right, we have to check that out. Tammy yeah. Wynette, the country singer. Mm. Chris Everett, the the tennis player. Adrian Barbeau, man, she was bad. Remember, she was in Swamp Thing. Oh yeah, yeah. She was the girl and in Swamp Show? Thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Dinah Shore, that's that's who it was. Dinah Shore. Lorna Luft. Mm. Oh, that is. Yeah, she was pretty hot. Catherine Deneuve. Mm. Sarah Miles. There's that Mammy Van Doren again. Oh, okay. I'm glad we have a picture this time. Yeah, in color. Yeah, sheesh. She's <laughs> 92 now. Jesus. <laughs> Imagine that. Inger Stevens. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's is that, that that's that laughing chick again. Yeah. Yeah, she's Look pretty. She's really pretty. Lori Nelson. Oh, Doris Day. She was like America's sweetheart. 
There, oh, Miko Mayama, she showed up again. Faye Dunaway is on the list again. That's what we got. That's it. That's pretty strong. Yeah. And then he what? Then he married uh, uh, what's her Anderson, right? Or, yeah, uh, yeah. Then they got an ugly divorce or something. Mm. All right, let's wrap this up. Any <laughs> suggestions you guys got? We'll have the email and the phone. Yeah, email you know, is, this uh, is really important stuff that we're conquering here. <laughs> that we're addressing in yeah. this day and age. <laughs> <laughs> we need we need a Mount Crushmore. We need what? What? Four? How many faces are going at four? Right? Uh no, we got it. We'll we'll do a bunch. Okay. We're not gonna have the whole. Yeah, if we had four. Because it's uh, like it's like Warren Beatty's on there. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's Lincoln Spot. Yeah, <laughs> he's George Washington and Lincoln Spot. Uh, <laughs> All right, so another waste of time for you guys. <laughs> uh, the uh, the email is uh, is well, is, don't give it yet, right? Because okay, no. we don't know how to how to make it work yet, right? Well, I mean, we we could make it work. I mean, if if you've got access, we'll talk. Okay. All right, but I'm saying until we figure that out. Should, All right. we, should we give it now? And then Let's we give it now. It? All right, what's yeah. the email? Uh, the email is uh, chainsoutpod at gmail.com. All right, so chainsoutpod at gmail.com. Yeah. Send any emails, suggestions, and then uh, how's the phone number work for Google? Oh, shit. Yeah, see. <laughs> so we'll just do the email for now. Then. Yeah, we'll All right, do, we'll do the email for now until we figure out the... Uh, the call situation. Yeah. yeah. All right, so there's been another episode of the Chains Out Podcast. Uh, I've been your host, Brett Ernst. Follow me if you're in Dallas. Oh, I guess this will be... This ain't coming out this week, right? It'll be next week, yeah. Ah, never mind. You just missed me. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, but th that week, uh, the seventh... No, nah, that's it. Nope. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 you just missed me. So, um, all right, Carlos, you going to be anywhere in two weeks? Uh, I will be I'll be here in Vegas at the um, Laugh After Dark Fe uh, Comedy Festival. And then after that, uh, from the the the, thir the the 12th to the 14th, I'll be at Laughs Unlimited in Sacramento, California, headlining. Yeah, and if you're ever in Vegas, every Tuesday and Wednesday, I'm at the L.A. Comedy Club, 10 o'clock. It's my um, a little residency there. So if you're ever in town, come through. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So uh, make sure you call your moms. God bless.